She's not what you'd expect. She's tough and feisty, but gentle and tender. She makes millions and gives millions to the poor. She cries, she laughs, she teaches, she comforts. This is The Danny Johnson Show. Hi, welcome to The Danny Johnson Show. We're very excited that you decided to join us today, especially today, because we're going to talk about money. Here on The Danny Johnson Show, every single day, we are bringing you content that's going to challenge your life into a more successful life. The fact is, is that according to status quo, what is success? Yeah, that you live in some big fancy house that you hate cleaning, that you end up with three cars that all have giant payments on it, and then, of course, full coverage insurance on it, and then, yeah, more expensive gas for it. You're under the pressure of all the debt that seems to pile up because, again, success means that I'm wearing really nice clothes, that I'm able to shop all the time, that I've got lots of jewelry, that I'm able to go on vacation all the time, that I have expensive furniture. This is a bunch of hogwash. Come on, think about it. I want you to think right now, where is your debt coming from? Where is your debt coming from? How did you get into it? What was the process that brought you to it? That question came to me many, many years ago. Here, I had been living that so-called successful life. Yeah, you know, I worked hard, made lots of money, and then bought the, you know, bought the million dollar home, and then had the really expensive cars, and had a quarter of a million dollars worth of jewelry, all by the time I was about 23 years old, you know, and, and had, you know, the $5,000 suits, and, you know, took my friends on cruises, and, and rode around in limousines, I mean, and stayed in the Waldorf Astoria Hotel. Why? Because that's what somebody had sold me that success was. But can I tell you what was on the flip side of that? Pressure, pressure, fighting with my husband Hans, not seeing my children, pressure to keep it up, pressure. Like I remember, in fact, this time, this time, 20, uh, forget about it. Uh, the last time I had this, you know, crazy, huge two-story tree in my house, right? Because I had to have this Christmas tree that reached my ceiling and it was a vaulted ceiling that, you know, it's like two stories. Literally, my tree was two stories tall, okay, with 300 gifts, 300 gifts under this tree. And some of those gifts, well, actually, For five of them, five people that I had worked with, five of my clients that I had a strong relationship with, that their their gifts alone cost me about $5,000 a piece. So then I was looking at the next year going, how do I keep up with that? Not to mention the pressure that I put on them. How in the world could they ever gift back to me? Like, could you imagine the obligation that they perhaps were feeling in that same exact way? Crazy, right? But here, the fact is, is that here on the Danny Johnson Show and everything we do at dannyjohnson.com is all about helping you to really succeed and to define success for you. Because in all reality, if somebody would have looked at me, they would have seen that on the outside, I looked successful. But the fact is, is on the inside, I was a failure. I was a complete financial failure. I had crazy amounts of debt. I was living according to somebody else's rules, which to me was a failure way to live. I wasn't even deciding for me, like, what does it mean for me? Are you doing the same exact thing? Are you suffering and suffocating under the pressure, the burden, the prison of debt? If so, we're going to talk about it today. And I promise you, we're going to show you ways to save money and that perhaps you've got a fortune in your own personal income right now. But if you're like most people, not most, let's say half of the population who says that they're living paycheck to paycheck. In fact, there was a study done. According to the Center for Financial Services, um, they say that nearly half of Americans say their expenses are equal to or greater than their income. In fact, if you are between the age of 18 and 25, you're, you're of the 54% of that part of the population that says that their income is not greater than their expenses. Their, their expenses are greater than their income. Well, today we're going to show you how to live below your means. That's how real wealth is created, by the way, is is living below your means. And Hans and I had to have a major wake-up call um, 17 years ago, actually. We had a major financial wake-up call that the circumstances that were pressing against us that made us go, this has to stop. We cannot live like this 
anymore. So we asked that question actually on Facebook. We asked the question of, of things, tips, different ways that people were, different things that people were doing that was helping them to live below their means. Uh, and where did they find the hidden treasure inside of their own income? Some nice little things that they could change, little tiny changes that they could make that have actually helped them out financially. So we're actually going to hear from our community, our incredibly supportive community that have gone through a pivotal experience themselves and because of the pivotal experience they had in their lives, they made some changes and they've got some results. So we're going over to Fran first. We have Fran Heslin from Boston, Massachusetts. Fran, welcome to the Danny Johnson Show. Fran, are you there? Fran's line is muted somehow. Let's see. Fran? Nope. Going now to caller number two. We've got Anita Atkins from Alexandria, Ohio. Are you there? I sure am. Yay! Okay, so what about you? What what would be your advice? Because someone's watching right now, right? And you know this time of year, come on, people are just packing it on their credit cards, right? What, it, what have you right. done to be able to save money? Well, I've never fell for the temptation of credit cards. Are you serious? Long. Yes, I'm serious. I'm 43, and I've never had a credit card my whole life. Mm-hmm. Um, the only loan I've ever had is my home and a small $2,500 loan, and I still kind of kick myself um, for even doing that. For breaking because- that rule. Okay, so I'm going to call yeah. you. Uh, you are, Anita, I have finally met a credit card virgin. Wow. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you have. <laughs> yes. Yes. No I was ha- very young. Never go into debt. Who- Always save up and buy. My parents, my mother and father were... Uh, You know, when I was actually, when they conceived me, they were broke. We lived in a trailer. They had uh, two other children and were barely making it. And they prayed over me that I would always be blessed. And, you know, through their teachings and lifestyle, I have always been blessed. (laughs) And one of the things is, you know, don't go against what God says. And God says, don't be in debt. You know, it's, it's a sin to, to go into debt. You're a slave then to the to the person who loans you that money. And I didn't want to be a slave. So I just never signed that paperwork. That is amazing. So so your parents taught you what the Bible says financially, which it says that we are to be the lender, not the borrower. We're to be the lender, not the borrower. Now, here's what's so interesting. Um, I I recently taught a a message uh, that was from Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 23, where he says, obey my voice, right? And I will be your God and you will be my people, right? And so look at you. You heard from your parents wise advice. Do not borrow money. Do not that's Go right. into debt. Do not get a credit card. That's what your parents told you, right? And yes. yet, so many other people have heard that message at church. They've heard it online. They've heard it from me. And yet, what do they do? They give thousands of dollars to credit card companies, to yes. CEOs, that instead of their own children. Yep. You know, that's money, That the, the interest, the late fees. You know, once you start going into debt... You, it's, you know, the devil holds you in bondage. Well, you actually you hold yourself. It's, hard to, it's not even right. the devil, That's Anita. Right. You can't even yeah. you can't even give nope. the devil credit for that one. We right. are the ones that put ourselves behind the prison doors of the interest rate and the late fees and the setup fees and the other fees and the additional fees and all the other fees and, and the other, 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 other fees. So you're simply saying that you at 43 are a credit card virgin. I love I this. Sure am. I'm so proud of it. <laughs> I can <laughs> and hear I thank it. my parents for teaching me through the word of God the right principles to live by when it comes to finances. I'm I, you know, I'm not a millionaire, but I can tell you I bought my house at a young age. I I mean through a loan, mm-hmm. um and I have paid it down enough to where and not going into other debts mm-hmm. that I am now going to be able to sell my home and build another home free. Wow. From the equity of my home. Wow. So there are little things or big things that we can do that will change our lives 
And that's I mean, one of I'm them. Very that's one of them. Person. Yes, that's, that's one, one of them, them right I'm there. Very frugal. Is mm-hmm. don't share your money. Don't share your income with the credit card people. Don't share. Or renting. Say again. Or renting. When you rent a home or rent an apartment, you're giving your finances to that person. When you buy your own home, you're paying yourself. Later, you're going to receive equity that you're able to sell your home. You're paying yourself for future times. Right, right. So there, there's, I have other people. I, I, it depends, mm-hmm. honestly. It, it's not always wise to buy, and that's a whole nother conversation um, as as uh, I've experienced in my life. And from the millionaire's perspective, it's not always wise to buy. It all depends on the market. And yes. so you made a wise You're choice right. at a young as, as a young person uh, to go into a business relationship with with a lender uh, concerning a piece of property. Right. Not That doesn't always work and out. I bought my home out of foreclosure. Which was smart. Very, very smart. Smart. Yes. Very, very smart. So anyway, I want to thank you so I'm, much. I'm blessed. Mm-hmm. You are. Mm-hmm. Anita, thank you so much for calling in. I love it that I got to meet the first credit card virgin ever in my life. The first. And you uh, are the first. the first. You are the absolute I'm 43, first. So. I know. I, I know. That's amazing. So thank you so much <laughs> for know. being I'm with very us. I'm proud right now. Yes. God thank bless you. you. you have- thank you. Okay. Next, we've got Carrie Deckert from New Jersey. Uh, Car- wow. Carrie, can you believe what you just heard? That is a 43-year-old credit card virgin. That's crazy. I can't even imagine. They were handing them out like candy when I got to college. I know. So. <laughs> I'm so proud of that woman. I think that is absolutely amazing. That is amazing. I mean, seriously, that was a credit card virgin right there. That was a credit card virgin. All right, but it's so true, right? We pay so much in interest, and that is part of our income. Out of our income, we're paying interest to someone else. So we're creating an income for someone else when we've got these credit card bills. So what about you? What would you say is your money-saving tip? Uh, well, I have a couple. My biggest thing for my family is we were spending a ton of money on groceries, yeah. like almost a thousand dollars a month. Hold it, time out, um, Carrie. Time out. Yes. A thou. Hold on. A thousand dollars a month on groceries. Now, did that include yeah. what you guys were eating out with too? No. Ooh. Okay, hold on. How many people in the household? Six. So for six people, you're spending $1,000 a month. And then how much were you spending on all the eating out? You know, like the gas station hot dogs, the Starbucks. <laughs> I try to avoid those. But um, How much but, were you guys uh, spending and eating out? So not just going out to dinner, but I'm talking about the drive throughs the convenience yeah. stores, the little I, snacks, you I, know, that candy bar, or of course, the Cliff Bar that people think I'm, I'm eating, I'm eating protein. I'm eating a Cliff Bar. No, you're not. You're eating a stinking candy bar. Okay, hold on. Just, yeah. just time out right here. We got to cut to a break right now. But as soon as we come from, okay. from the break, I want you to estimate. And I want you to tell me how much you were spending out. Again, the candy bars, the sodas, right? The gas station yep. runs, the Starbucks. And let's talk about ways that you saved money and you were able to pay off some debt. This is Danny Johnson. We're diving into your finances right after this. Stay right here for more of The Danny Johnson Show. Imagine living in a decrepit, unsafe hovel made of waste material on top of old mining tunnels that could explode and sink your home at any moment. Imagine no water to drink, no safe place to raise your children, no food for your starving baby. Imagine that your kids can't learn to read because they have to work to support the family instead of going to school. Could you imagine living in that kind of fear and hopelessness? This is exactly what families are dealing with in the poverty-stricken village of Santa Pancha, Nicaragua. These families can barely meet their basic food, water, and housing needs. We are transforming that village. Be a part of this miracle. I want you to go to the website now and learn how you can help. Go to kingsransom.org and click on Santa Pancha. There you can join with other warriors against poverty and help bring a miraculous transformation to Santa Pancha. That's kingsransom.org, kingsransom.org. More resources, more training, more results. The DannyJohnson.com Insider Membership is your ultimate success shortcut. Get exclusive access to reports, videos, audios, ebooks, cheat sheets, and other training for your personal and professional life. This is truly DannyJohnson.com's best kept secret. Become an Insider member today and get on the fast track to success. 
I just heard this amazing story. One of our clients had written us telling us that they had used job domination and unlimited success and has absolutely exploded their career. He said, Danny, I don't know where I'd be today without job domination and unlimited success. Listen, do you want more recognition from your coworkers? Do you want to be recommended to people all over the world? Do you want to be somebody that is highly sought after? Listen, if you're in a dead end place where this gentleman found himself, but then learned new strategies and changed everything in his work life, and obviously this has resulted in higher bonuses and pay raises, you're next. 888-757-8880. Get your copy of Job Domination right now. 888-757-8880. Again, 888-757-8880, job domination. That's what you need. It's time for you to dominate the job market and break through the rut that you're in. Did you know you can take the Danny Johnson Show with you wherever you go? It's never been easier to stay up to date with the latest content from Danny with the dannyjohnson.com app. Watch or listen in the car, at the gym, or on the go. Download it now from the App Store and Google Play and never miss a show again. Your family, business, and bank account will thank you. What multimillionaire do you know that volunteers their time to help ordinary people like you and me? There's only one. It's the Danny Johnson Show. Hey, are you allowing someone to steal from you? Come on. Are you allowing people to steal from you? Like, no. Yeah, you are. You have allowed the grocery store to steal money from your future. You've actually allowed the grocery store to steal money from that long-awaited vacation that you so desperately want to take your family on. You've actually allowed the grocery store to also steal money from your health. Yep, they're robbing you blind. You don't even know it. We're talking about your money today. This is the Danny Johnson Show. We're talking about ways to save money. We've got Carrie Deckard on the line from New Jersey. She has six kids. She was spending $1,000 a month at the grocery store. And Carrie, what's the number? How much were you spending on eating out? Probably another 500 Yeah. And is that for everybody, like all six people in the family, your husband included? Yeah, we were pretty good about making lunches for the kids and my husband when they're out. Um, but we would have pizza out or go out like on the weekends and stuff. But what about when um, you're at the gas station pumping gas? Did your husband ever go in there and grab a couple candy bars or some chips? My husband is very disciplined. He did not, and neither did I. But, uh, but I can tell you my husband drinker. does. My husband does. <laughs> yeah, so he, we, he's something we're else. Good in that respect. That's really good. But, okay, so Carrie, yeah. what what did you do to save money? Um, I put myself on a very strict budget, mm-hmm. and my family has had to get used to the fact that at the end of the week, if they have eaten through all their snacks, um, they're gone, <laughs> and we make our own bread now and we are making instead of like buying snack packs of things we make muffins or cookies Mm -hmm. or whatever for their treats for school Mm -hmm. um and we're not eating out as much we do occasionally still Mm -hmm. because it's something we enjoy yep um so that's been a big thing so what have you cut your food uh, bill back by How, how did you reduce how much have you reduced your food bill by it's now 600 Wow. So, so you're saving yeah. $400. Now, let, check it out. Over half of our population is saying that they're living paycheck to paycheck, meaning their expenses are equaling their income. And so you just said that the same family of six that was spending $1,000 a month at the grocery store found $400 of money that now they're keeping instead of giving back to the grocery store. Four hundred dollars. Correct. All right. So one of them was you said you're baking your own bread. You're making the kids yes. snacks. And so let me ask you something. Has this created more family time doing this together? Yeah, my daughter is calls herself a, a professional cooker because she's <laughs> she's four, so she's little. Oh, she calls herself a professional cooker now. <laughs> and so now you've taught your kids actually a, a trade of baking that's almost being lost in this generation. I mean, I know I have friends that their mothers never taught them how to cook and they became wives who never learned how to cook. 
And they're raising daughters that are going to be wives that don't cook. That's sad. And you have to think yeah, about how many people tough. don't bake bread. I break I bake bread every single Friday. Every Friday I break bread. We devour it. Um, we make I make homemade everything and always have, including I've made homemade pasta for twenty something years. Um, I do oh, it much wow. less anymore. Oh, it's so easy and it's so cheap. It's flour and egg and some salt, halal, <laughs> and some water. I mean, it's like so easy and it's so cheap to make your own pasta and it's fun to do with the kids. And it's cheaper. Unless pasta's cheap. I mean, you can get organic pasta at my grocery store here in Texas. For a dollar twenty-five a pound. Right. Um, that's pretty darn cheap. Okay, so the, those are some things. So baking bread, making the snacks instead of buying snacks for the kids. Where else did where did, else did you see that that four hundred dollars a month was going to the grocery store? There is no longer. Well, we've been um, paying off debt, and mm-hmm. uh, so we've paid off om- almost five thousand dollars worth of debt since Jan- uh, since November. Since no- wait, um, like a month ago. Like a month ago, yeah. What? You've paid off $5,000 worth of debt since November, and we're like in December yeah, right now. That's amazing. Yeah, and we tithed $566 as well. I'm so proud of you. How did you learn how to pay off this debt? <laughs> First Steps to Success and Dynasty. No way. Um, yeah, yeah. Carrie. Amazing. Carrie, I'm so proud of you. Now, listen, you actually heard exactly how to cut your food budget back at First Steps and Creating a Dynasty, which is a three-day yeah. advanced training seminar as Dynasty, and First Steps is our, our basic basic boot camp um, for your finances, your business, and your relationships. But you actually listened, and you applied it. And in the last month— Well, I did month, it the first time. Well, where you did it the second time or whatever the time <laughs> yeah. is because you paid off five, almost yeah. $5,000 worth of debt— uh, in inside of the last 30 days. I can't tell you how proud I am of you. That is really, really Thank phenomenal. You. God bless you. Thank you for calling and sharing that. That's amazing. This is Danny Johnson. Thank we'll you. continue with more money-saving tips right after this. Don't go away. The next segment might just change your life. This is The Danny Johnson Show. This is your chance. This is your shot. Get your copy of War on Debt right now. There's one waiting for you that has your family's name on it. And inside that package is freedom. Your freedom, your family's freedom is on the inside of that package. All you have to do is open it up, press play, and start applying what I teach you in this program. 888-757-8880. You and I are going to help your family become completely debt-free in the next five to seven years. Just imagine how that's going to feel. Did you know you can see Danny Johnson live and in person? Go to dannyjohnson.com and find out about our next live event. First Steps to Success, register today. Call 866-760-8255 or go to dannyjohnson.com forward slash FSTS. You would think this would get easier. It doesn't. (laughs) Um, My name is Mia and this is my awesome husband, Tony Gray. We're both from Maryland. Prior to plugging into DannyJohnson.com, we were beyond a mess. Um, Probably an earthquake would be a better description. Um, (laughs) We were very young and married in high school. I was pregnant at 13. I was abandoned, abused, um, often turned to drugs and alcohol. And we just didn't know what to do. We knew how to put on a facade and come out before people. Uh, We worked long hours. He was never, ever home. He was losing relationships with me and the kids. We were at the divorce attorney ready just to quit. Um, We didn't know a way out and our debt, we just hung ourselves it seems every day, just going to work, spending, and then there was debt. We didn't know what to do. Um, But after filing bankruptcy twice, you would think, well, you know what to do then. Well, we didn't, we kept making stupid decisions and um, we were really just ready to quit. We were ready to give up. And uh, we didn't see that there was any hope. I was actually depressed a whole lot. And um, since we got married so young, we wanted to be like the rest of our family and be divorced because we were the only ones that were married for a long period of time. We lost several kids, but God blessed us with that. And um, after plugging in with DannyJohnson.com, life changed forevermore. Um, It's funny, I heard Danny say, um, talked about Donald Trump, and that was my way of life. he did it. He was a multimillionaire. He filed bankruptcy multiple times, but I knew that wasn't the answer. I was working more hours, had a six-figure income, and 
found we were in more debt. But since plugging into war and debt, um, in 36 months, we paid off $126,000. To me, it's all about giving back. And my wife has the biggest heart that I know, so um, it was her mission to not only get the information for us, but to share it in our community. So we had hundreds of people come to classes, but we had 92 people take action. And of those 92 people, in 34 months, they paid off $3.6 million. Our marriage is been fully restored. Um, our children are absolutely amazing. They all own their own businesses. We raise six amazing kids every single day. And I can't tell you, without the DJU curriculum, without all of the products, we came at the beginning and we were piecemealing it, but that didn't work for us. You know how Danny says, when you get the recipe, you need to get all the ingredients and not try to figure out, should I get the egg, should I get the milk? You just get it all and you follow directions. We follow directions and our life has changed forevermore and we won't go back we're just going ahead so without further ado help us bring back to the stage america's favorite millionaire miss danny johnson so what is success a big house, a big title, a big fat paycheck? Danny Johnson has had them all, and you need to hear what she discovered when she had them. This is The Danny Johnson Show. Danny, the cost of living is too high. It's impossible to live below my means right now. Do you have any idea the reality of life? Listen. I'm Danny Johnson. Welcome to The Danny Johnson Show. If you're just now joining us, we're talking about ways to save money and how to live below your means. The fact is, is that through life, we continue to raise our expenses without even thinking about it. We do. When we start off early in life in the workforce, we're making a certain amount of money. And we don't have any bills. But through time, we start to add these things. We continue to increase our lifestyle as we increase our income, which now makes it so that we're living paycheck to paycheck. Check this out. This is crazy. The Federal Reserve reports that the average American household in 2016 carried $16,883,000 in credit card debt. When you add in the mortgages, the car loans, student loans, the average American household is actually carrying $137,000 worth of debt. That is bondage, man. That's crazy. Like, I don't, I remember how I felt. Have you ever gone river rafting? Have you ever done that? And you know, you're just, and I've done it in a canoe. And so you're river rafting in a canoe and you know, you're just kind of moseying along. And then all of a sudden you can see the white water that is ahead. And like the water's just going crazy. It's kind of looks like the inside of a, of a washing machine, like the old washing machines that maybe you and I grew up with, right? Not the front end loaders, but the other ones. And it's just like craziness. It's just going like crazy. And you can feel it. Like your heart is racing. You're like, oh, ha, ha, gosh, I'm going to die. Is that how you feel about your finances right now? Right? At the beginning of every month, you know that you don't have the money to pay your bills. The month hasn't even started yet. And if you're like a lot of people in the world today, not just America, the figures I just gave you was America's numbers. I know that there's people watching this and listening to the show from all over the world. That pressure of that debt is killing your life. It's suffocating your life. It's killing your dreams. It's keeping you stuck. It's shortening your life. It can't any longer. Today, we are bringing you tips, not just through me, but through our amazing community that has been uh, taking advantage of the tools that are on the website, dannyjohnson.com. That supportive community who has taken advantage of things like this, First Steps to Wealth, free book for you right now if it's your first time listening. 866-760-8255. Again, that's 866-760-8255. Dial this phone number. Ask for Joseph. Tell Joseph that you just heard this on the radio or television or whichever way. If you're listening to the podcast right now, ask for Joseph. He will get you your free copy. You pay the shipping to get it to your house. 
we will pay for the $15 book to get it to your house. There's two chapters on here on ways that you're going to save money. And there's simple, stupid things that your four-year-old can figure out with you. I'm not kidding you. There are simple things every day that you can be doing that is going to now reduce your expenses. You're not even going to miss it. You're actually going to feel empowered. You're going to feel better about yourself when you start to do these things. So do it right now. 866-760-8255. The name of the book is First Steps to Wealth. If you want the physical copy, you pay the, the, the shipping and handling to get it to your house. If you want to not pay shipping and handling, you can download it at dannyjohnson.com right now. So let's get right into some more of these tips because if you're like most of these people, we're talking about $137,000 worth of debt that you're carrying between mortgage, student loans, car loans, and credit cards. You can't live like that any longer. I used to live like that. We don't live like that any longer. All right, we're going up to Taylor. Uh, Stevens from Dallas, Texas. What is your big money-saving tip? Taylor. Good morning. Hi. Jane. This is Taylor K. Stevens. How are you? Good. So tell us, what's your big money saving tip? Okay. Danny, what I do, I, and I still use this today. I started this when my life was a mess and I was in debt and I, you know, I was desperate. Yep. But I still use this today. Yep. And I teach it to other people. Good job. Okay. What I do is, I first of all, I use cash. Yep. When I go buy anything i something i learned a long time ago is to use cash if you don't have cash you get it out of the atm you take it out you use cash yep when i pay for something at the store yep if it's less than five dollars i don't care if it's 39 cents i pay for it with a five dollar bill or larger hmm. i look to see if it's if it's 89 cents I will, or if it's a dollar and twenty nine, I'll look in and see if I've got you know at least twenty nine cents. I use the coins. I get back the one dollar bill. I put them in my wallet. I don't care if I have to go to the store three or four times a day. If I have something that is say ten dollars, I pay for it with a twenty. Now, if all I have is a twenty. And it's a dollar twenty nine. I use the twenty. But tell me why this is a money saving tip. I don't understand. Okay. okay. How how it is is at the end of the day, I take all of the one dollar bills out of my wallet. Mm-hmm. I put them back. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the month, I see how many one dollar bills that I have. Mm-hmm. The first month that I did this, I had three hundred and one dollar bills. Okay. Now, this is somebody who was almost broke, who didn't have money. And if you had told me that I had to come up with 300 extra dollars, I would have said, there's no way. Hmm. And so by doing this, what the amazing thing is, if you don't miss the money, that's what astounded, astounded me is I didn't miss the money. I was like, this is like magic. Wait, I'm not because, following it. I'm not following it. Okay, so hold on. Okay. So you're telling, because the way I'm here, can I tell you how I'm hearing this? Because you're okay, telling sure. me to go spend money, and somehow that's going to make me save money. That's what I'm hearing. And right. I, don't, I don't buy into that philosophy. So help me understand okay. how this is saving money. Okay. We all Number one, using money. cash. Let me let me let me say this. Number one, there's something powerful about using cash. I understand that concept of okay. using cash. Um, when when we when we were when I first looked at my food budget, when my our our debt was out of control, we were nearing almost a million dollars worth of debt between mortgage cars okay. and credit cards. And so then it, when I looked at how much we were spending just at the grocery store, it was twelve hundred dollars a month between Costco, Walmart, and the okay. grocery store. It was twelve hundred dollars a month, which was freaking ridiculous, okay. right? So right okay. away, I just went no more i'm gonna set the budget for and i decided i picked a number out of the sky twenty dollars per person in the household and that's it so then that's all i brought to the store divided it out by the week and that's the only cash i had with me and so therefore and, and by the way this kind of i'm sure was imparted to me by my mom because we were on welfare and we had that funny money that now is a card, you know, now it's a credit card to have well, welfare, what do you call that stuff? Food stamps, right? But when I was growing up, we were on food stamps and that food stamps looked like monopoly money. It looked like fake money, right? So my mom would be at the grocery store with her fake money and she would have this clicker. And so she would look, she would, you know, grab a gallon
gallon of milk and then click in, you know, how, you know, click, click, click the amount that the milk was, right? Because she, all she had was this amount of food stamps. She didn't have any other money. She didn't have any credit cards. She didn't have another option. And I remember as a kid, the embarrassment of going through the checkout line that if she miscalculated, my mom had to go, oh, I can't get that. And she, then she would make... The, the checker takes something off of the bill, right? Oh, here, we can't buy that. We'll take that out. Oh, we'll take that. I remember being there for minutes. I mean, it felt like an eternity as a five-year-old. Um, but, you know, the, the check, my, my mom's like, oh, take this off. Oh, yeah, we can't have the pasta. Oh, we can't have, oh, we can't use the Comet this time. Okay, we can't, you know what I mean? She'd be pulling things out of the, you know, that was already clicked through by the, and and, and gosh, Taylor, you remember this, right? That's back uh-huh. when they were typing in the numbers. This is when I was a scammer. Oh, yes. This is back when they're <laughs> typing in the numbers. So a refund was ridiculous, yeah. right? So anyway, so yeah. I remember that embarrassment. So somehow that that maybe was planted in the back of my head of like, okay, I'm only going to bring $100 in cash or $125, and that included toilet paper and diapers and all that stuff. I'm only going to have $125 going with me to the grocery store, and that's uh-huh. it. That's it. Uh And so it made me budget, like right there. I didn't want to go through the embarrassment of going, "Ah, that's too expensive. I can't have that, right? So I understand the cash thing because if you don't have any other cards, you have no other option, you're going to force yourself to figure out how do I only spend $125, and that's a powerful Uh thing. But what I don't understand is your whole concept of of uh, spending and going to the store three or four times a day. I, I'm not for that. I'm a go to the store once a week maximum. You spend less. Uh-huh. The less time you spend at the grocery store, the less money you spend. That's one huge one right, right. there. If you don't have an ingredient, you're going to create a new recipe now. <laughs> Tough uh-huh. luck, buddy. You're going to create a new a new recipe. So what I want you to what I want you to do is I kind of want you to break this down. You said that number one, you use cash. Super important. And this is something that you learned when you were flat broke and you didn't have an extra $300, but that somehow using cash and then taking the amount that you didn't spend, right? So it was like this. Uh, You said if something cost 89 cents, you used a $5 bill, right, to buy that 89 Uh cent item. And then you saved the rest, the $4.11, right? The other Uh $4.11 went back into your wallet, and you uh-huh. wouldn't spend the $1 bills again, that those right. $1 bills uh-huh. now got saved. Okay. Right. And then if it's something costs $10, you use a $20 bill. So then you uh-huh. save the rest. Okay. When we continue, I want you to give me a little bit more insight about how this actually saved you $300. Okay. This is Danny Johnson. Yeah. We'll continue with more right after this. So what's keeping you stuck? It's time to get it out of your way for good. Stay right here for more of The Danny Johnson Show. Hi, I'm Danny Johnson. The most common question I get usually are from people who are trying to juggle their life. They've got kids. They've got kids who are involved in all kinds of activities. They've got business or their job, finances, trying to get out of debt, plus all their church activities and all the volunteer activities. And they're pulling their hair out going, how do I juggle this all? Man, I once lived just like that until I learned Time Secrets. Time Secrets showed me how to be able to cut my hours from 100 hours a week that I was working down to 20 hours a week and tripled my income as a direct result with what I learned. Time Secrets also showed me how to get my priorities in order, which healed up my marriage. And I became a mother that I want now was proud of versus becoming the mother I didn't want to be. And so if you feel like your world is running around in all kinds of different circles, you can fix that. Call 888-757-8880. Again, 888-757-8880 for Time Secrets. Did you know you can see Danny Johnson live and in person? Go to dannyjohnson.com and find out about our next live event. First steps to success, register today. Call 866-760-8255 or go to dannyjohnson.com forward slash FSTS. Prior to plugging into DannyJohnson.com, I was working 60 to 75 hours a week. I was completely stressed out. I was incredibly angry with my husband. We were in over $350,000 worth of debt. By applying the strategies that Danny teaches, in the last three and a half years, we have paid off $170,000 in debt. We are no longer roommates and we no longer spend every single cent that we make. 
We now have made tens of thousands of dollars in passive income and investments. We are on the right track. We're traveling around the world together. And we are building homes for those who really need it. So I don't know about you, but if you want to cut back from 60 to 20 and 30 hours a week, if you want to mend some relationships, if you want to make your life more efficient and a lot more fun, and you want to be the best version of you, I highly recommend that you get registered because your life is about to change. Prior to plugging into DannyJohnson.com, first steps to success in creating Dynasty, my wife and I were really lost. We were struggling in a relationship. We were struggling financially, drowning in debt. Our relationship was really broken. We were in a bad place. We were living in two completely different states and not really honoring each other. Once we got plugged into to the community, we noticed a shift in our lives. Uh, most importantly, we came together as a husband and wife. That was the first thing we did. And when we finally came together under the same roof, things started to change. Over the past three years, we've been able to pay off over $495,000 in debt. Uh, I know my business, I've had a job created for me that increased my income by 50%. That has actually opened up the door to allow my wife and I to spend more time with each other. So I don't know where you are. I don't know if your relationship is super awesome. I don't know if your job is immaculate. I don't know if you're debt free. But what I do know is if you're not any one of those things, your next step is to get plugged into DannyJohnson.com. Go on the website, get plugged into the community. I promise you, your life will never be the same. And prior to plugging into DannyJohnson.com, I was a broke college student, drowning in debt, and I felt like the world was crashing all around me and I had bad relationships. Since plugging into DannyJohnson.com and First Steps to Success, I was able to pay off $6,600 in four months, now I'm able to give 10% of my income to wherever my heart desires. I actually, using the skills that I learned from Danny, I actually landed a job before I graduated college, and I'm able to travel the world. All I know is if you're serious about annihilating your debt, traveling the world, helping people, and having fun doing so, I highly recommend you get registered for the next First Steps to Success. Do it now, don't wait, don't even thinking about it. If you're ready to change your life, just do it. We went to our first ever First Steps to Success just 10 weeks ago, and it has definitely been life-changing ever since. We felt like we got hit by a two by four, but it was the best two by four, because what we realized is that our priorities were clearly out of line. I had been building a home-based business and had been working 80 to 100 hours, and I realized that that is not my role and that I had actually taken my husband's and it was that realization that something had to change and we immediately went home and changed everything. There was no hesitation. We said, you know what, we need to be obedient to God. Mm -hmm. And we've implemented the tools day one. We started implementing what Danny taught us, um, invested in ourselves, invested in our kids, got our priorities in line. We've now actually paid off just not quite 60000 in debt and looking at a couple more investments here as head of the household. It's been absolutely incredible. So I just encourage you, if any of this speaks to you, if you're wanting to get out of debt, if you're wanting better communication, if you're wanting to elevate to the higher level of life, get to First Steps to Success and plug into dannyjohnson.com. If you've ever wanted to make millions, change the world, be the voice for the voiceless, and have a blast doing it, then you need to spend some time with this lady right here. She's been doing it for years, and she'll show you how. This is The Danny Johnson Show. A latte a day costs you $2,000 a year. Listen to that. One latte a day costs you $2,000 a year. Is that $2,000 a year? I know that there's some jackal just joker right now that's going to go, yep, that's worth $2,000. Really? Now, what's the other effects that latte a day is costing you? It's not just costing you $2,000 a year. No way. You know what else it's costing you? Your fat is growing. What are you talking about, Danny? Your body fat is growing because of the latte a day. So if you're growing in your body fat, that means your BMI, your basal metabolic index, I think that's what it's called, is changing also. Yeah. That means your health is getting worse. That means your energy is declining. Hello, are you hearing me? So what's the cost of your health? How much per year is your bad latte costing you now? Huh? How much? How many times are you getting sick because of the increase of fat 
in your body? Are you heading on the plan of high insulin levels? Hmm. Taking yourself to diabetes? Hmm. How much is diabetes going to cost you? Think about it. It's not just costing you $2,000 a year. But listen, $2,000 a year, is that worth a latte a day? Think about that. What could you do with $2,000 extra at the end of a year? You could annihilate some debt. You could go on a vacation. Hello, friend, listen. I took my daughter to Naples, Italy. Not Florida, Naples, Italy. This past year for her 30th birthday for $2,000 for the two of us. Airfare, hotel, and breakfast cost us $2,000 for the two of us, not each. The two, it costs $1,000 each, $2,000. So you could actually take one of your kids on a dream vacation to Naples, Italy. You could take them anywhere in the world. You'd be amazed where you could go for just $2,000. And if you stopped doing the latte a day, you would lose weight. Yeah, you would have more energy. You would have better health. Come on now. Come on now. I want you to tell me places that you have saved money and share it with us. We've got Taylor Stevens from Dallas, Texas. She, before this last break, like was talking about this little secret that she found out when she was super broke. And it was paying cash. And she ended up with $300 left over at the end of the month by paying cash for the things at the grocery store instead of credit cards or whatever. Okay, so Taylor, explain it. So you said, if I am going to spend 89 cents, I use a $5 bill. If I'm going to spend something that's $10, I don't use a 10, I use $20 bill. And you save all the $1 bills? How did that uh -huh. save you money? Help me. Okay. Um, first of all, I applaud and I, and I actually do what you're teaching other people as far as budget and things like this. Mm -hmm. I'm not advocating going to the store okay. three or four times every single day. Thank I you. I mean, I generally go, no, I, I generally go once once a week myself. Yeah. Okay. But what I did is sometimes for some people, uh, you know, budgets, you know, they can't kind of quite wrap their mind around a budget or whatever. Sure. But what I did, even if you're, you know, budgeting is just like so foreign and they feel so constrained. It's really boring, too. But, but wait a well, second. I think yeah. I just figured it out. Taylor, you're taking the money off the table. That's what you're doing. So you're saying if you're going to buy something for 89 cents, you use a $5 bill. Your rule is that you use the next higher up number, right? You're not using a yeah. dollar. You use a five. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and, yeah. so you only spent fives and 20s? Is that yeah, what you five, said? Tens and, fives, tens, and 20s. Okay. So all so you ever so kept was five, tens, and 20s. So if you bought something at the grocery store that was 89 cents, then that means that you took that extra $4.11 off the table. Mm -hmm. And you yeah. hit it. Okay, so if you yeah. spent $9, you used a $10 bill, and you took that $1 off the table, and you hit it. Right. Right? So if right. you spent $11, you use a 20, and you took the extra $9 off the table, and right. you saved 300 I understand get the money off the table thing. That works. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, oh, honey. Good listen, time. It, it, does, it does work, and the amazing thing about it is, this is, I talk this to people, and it happened to me, because for some reason, you know, when your life is a mess, you know, you don't think straight, you can't wrap your mind around anything, it's complicated. It's true. You need something very, very simple. It's like, I can't count to three. So I just, I said, this is something that I can use. Now, interesting thing, when I started doing this, and I, I still remember, I put it in a coffee can in my closet. Nice. And I didn't even look. I didn't even look. I just stuffed it in the coffee can. Wow. And it was packed full. Danny, you know what it's like to be broke. I've oh, yeah. I've $130,000 in consumer debt. I've been flat broke where I had no money, no savings. I mean, nothing. Mm. I'm, and I'm also 19 years sober. So I've been through the crap. Awesome and job. And so when you're looking at suicide... Or you're looking at, you know, how am I going to get out of this mess? Yes. When you can grab onto something that will give you hope. Yeah. And when you can look in there and you can see $300. Yeah. When you couldn't save a dime before because you didn't know how to manage money. Yeah. And when you can look in there and you can find $301 bills. You feel like you're rich. That, well... <laughs> 
it gives you hope. Yes. And then what I did is I still, and I don't have to do it today, wow. but I still do it as a game. Yes. Because I, I, it's fun. Yes. And I put hardwood floors in my house doing this. I use uh-huh. it to pay my property taxes. I pay the IRS using this system. Yes. Wow. wow. And this, this gives you hope then you're more inclined to budget yourself. You're yes. more inclined to not go to Starbucks. You're yes. more inclined because, honey, I did all this before I found you. I want to applaud you. Mm. Your way works. This is exactly how I got out of my debt problem and straightened my money issues out, doing exactly the same things that you teach people. Man. But this was something different yes. that I learned from my mother. Wow. And I've talked this to people who can't save money, and they ended up taking their family on vacation. Yes, absolutely. Because it, beca- it, be- it became fun. They didn't yes. feel constrained. Yes. They didn't feel like, oh, my God, I can't spend any money. Yes. It's like, oh, my God, because that just, for some people, just doesn't work. Yes. And Man, so, this is amazing. Doing, well, and here's the other thing. So many people, I included, they'll save their coins. I used to do this. Yes. And the, the coins, the, but the coins are amazing that there's like thousands of dollars a year that get wasted in just coins. And when we've gone to the plastic, we're not tracking anything. Nothing's being tracked. Man, Taylor, I can't, this was really helpful. Thank you so much for sharing well, your knowledge with us well, today. Cause you just actually helped more than just a friend. You helped thousands of people today and I am pretty sure that people can just jump on everything that you just said because it's just it's dead on and it's very similar very very similar to the concepts in which that we teach in war on dead and first steps to wealth I'm just so proud of you really and I can hear the passion you have for it because when you've come out of a financial prison you like feel well it's like this it's like when you become sober literally I Literally, like people who are suffering under debt, it literally is a drunken stupor. It literally is. It's just like not being sober. And when we become sober, we're like, oh, I got to share this with the world. Like everyone needs to come out of this prison. They don't even see that they're actually in. And I can so hear that inside of Taylor's voice uh, and the passion that she has and, and the, the nice, simple little thing that she used. Take the money off the table. It works. I could tell you a story that might be offensive about taking the money off the table, but I could tell you that I actually saved $9,000 in an hour and a half. I won't tell you how I got it, but anyway, maybe another time. This is Danny Johnson. We'll continue with more right after this. If you knew you couldn't fail, what would you do with your life? Discover your own answer. This is The Danny Johnson Show. Imagine living in a decrepit, unsafe hovel made of waste material on top of old mining tunnels that could explode and sink your home at any moment. Imagine no water to drink, no safe place to raise your children, no food for your starving baby. Imagine that your kids can't learn to read because they have to work to support the family instead of going to school. Could you imagine living in that kind of fear and hopelessness? This is exactly what families are dealing with in the poverty-stricken village of Santa Pancha, Nicaragua. These families can barely meet their basic food, water, and housing needs. We are transforming that village. Be a part of this miracle. I want you to go to the website now and learn how you can help. Go to kingsransom.org and click on Santa Pancha. There you can join with other warriors against poverty and help bring a miraculous transformation to Santa Pancha. That's kingsransom.org, kingsransom.org. More resources, more training, more results. The DannyJohnson.com Insider Membership is your ultimate success shortcut. Get exclusive access to reports, videos, audios, ebooks, cheat sheets, and other training for your personal and professional life. This is truly DannyJohnson.com's best kept secret. Become an Insider Member today and get on the fast track to success. You want to succeed, right? but you do not want to fail God at the same time. There is a way to succeed from a biblical perspective, and it's far greater than anything you could ever imagine. Over 500 scriptures I studied to study money, everything that the Bible said about money. That's in the first couple chapters of Spirit Driven Success, not to mention leadership, working with people, growing a career, being used mightily in the marketplace, which is where Abraham 
God used him in the marketplace. And Joseph, God used him in the marketplace. Moses, God used him in the marketplace. Daniel, Solomon, really all of the greats of faith, most of the greats of faith throughout the Bible, they all were in the marketplace. And God wants to show you how you can be used mightily by him in the marketplace. Right here, Spirit Driven Success is where all of my notes are on how you can do that. 888-757-8880. Again, 888-757-8880. Get your copy of Spirit Driven Success today. Put The Danny Johnson Show to work for you by advertising your product or service. The Danny Johnson Show has tens of thousands of listeners who are just like you. People who need what you're offering but just don't know it yet. Savvy business owners and marketing directors advertise on The Danny Johnson Show. To promote your products and services on The Danny Johnson Show, email john at dannyjohnson.com or call 866-760-8255. And now back to the Danny Johnson show. We're saving money, man. Just on today's show alone, I know that thousands of dollars can be saved for you. We're going over to Tiffany um, from Ohio. Tiffany, what's your money saving tip? Hey, uh, my tip is cleaning out your closets. Um, we had like four bathtub sized plastic tubs of collectibles from our childhood. <laughs> and we sold them in garage sales and on eBay. We had four garage sales. And then we, we sold over $1,500 um, in the past 60 days on eBay. No way. So you're just selling your junk that's been collecting <laughs> dust that you had to pay money, like 5 or $10 for a Rubbermaid container to store it. And now you've made $1,500 from stuff that was collecting dust hello we probably made thirty five hundred dollars selling all of it this year between no. the stuff i told you oh my gosh thirty five hundred dollars is a lot of freaking money i love it in fact thirty five hundred dollars can actually take somebody to like bora bora for a week thirty five hundred dollars can go to knocking out somebody's credit card thirty five hundred dollars can be a down payment on a first time buyer's home thirty five hundred dollars could be traveling to europe on that i mean there's so many places thirty five hundred dollars can pay for a brand new house for the extreme poor who are living in places like Nicaragua who were wiped out by the hurricane this past uh, fall, like $3,500 can do a lot. That is amazing. Selling your junk on eBay. Anyone can learn how to do that. Hey, listen, I hope that you enjoyed today's program, and I know that you want more of these money-saving tips. If you go to dannyjohnson.com, you're going to find that we have a blog as well as a book, a free book that you can download right now. Uh, Danny Johnson, that's one N and an I, D-A-N-I, johnson.com. All kinds of money-saving tips there, as well as our war on debt system. We've got a battle plan for you to be able to find all of these ways. So, many, In fact, we have 50 different ways where you can save money that you're not even aware of. And we only had a couple of our, of our faithful uh, listeners to the Danny Johnson Show share with you what their tips were. So we've got a list of 50 inside of a report right there on the website, dannyjohnson.com. And by the way, check out our podcast. Download the app on your Android or your um, iPhone, the a podcast app, f downloading it from iTunes. And please leave us a review and rate us. Rate the show right there. Rate, rate that podcast right there. And if you're listening to us from radio or television, YouTube, or wherever on our website that you're listening to us, we thank you so much for joining us. Us and we hope today was beneficial. Please leave us a comment. Please review today's program. Let us know if you'd like to see more of this. How has this helped you? And more importantly, share it with other people. Let other people learn how to save money instead of adding more and more debt every single month, every single year, every decade, and it piling up. People commit suicide over debt, friends. People get divorced over debt. So this is your opportunity to make a difference in somebody else's life simply by sharing the link of this show. If you go to Danny johnson.com you can find today's program copy and paste that link right from your smartphone and share it on instagram twitter share it on facebook share it through email share it through a text get the message out let's make a difference and let's help people come out of this prison especially those that you love and care about this is danny johnson we're going to talk to you tomorrow about another exciting topic that's going to help you become more successful god bless you if this episode was an encouragement to you, go to dannyjohnson.com and share it with your friends now. You never know who else needs to hear it. This has been The Danny Johnson Show. Join us every weekday at 7 a.m. for more insights that will help you get to the life you've always wanted.